Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing so well. It is the first day of Booktubeathon and I'm here to update you on my progress. I will be filming update videos around 7 p.m. my time and then I will put everything from the night in the next update. So just be aware of that because I don't have time to film at midnight every single night and then edit. And I also don't have the energy to do that and it would probably be a hot mess. Last night I watched Disney movies until midnight which was amazing. Thanks everybody who participated in booktube Disney night. And then at midnight I started The Lightning Thief. I didn't tell you guys this in the last video but I work full time so I kind of sneak some reading in at work but not a lot. So I didn't read a ton today yet but I did get to page 282 so far and I'm planning to finish this book tonight and then start The Sea of Monsters later tonight and then start on that and then finish that tomorrow etc etc etc. I'm so glad that I'm rereading the series like Good decision, Maureen. So proud of myself. Pat on the back. Because I have missed Percy and his sass and Annabeth and all of these characters so much. Like, Rick Riordan's characters just, like, leap off the page. They are so realistic and so, like, personality-driven. And I just love it. I also went to get my blood drawn today and I have battle wounds. You can't see them, but they're there. The first video daily challenge is to name three books that booktube made you read. The first one I don't have a copy of, but that is Shatter Me by Tara Mafi, if you guys don't know. That book has gotten so much buzz around booktube and I just had to pick it up. I just flew through those books because I had to. The second book booktube made me read is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and I'm so glad that I watched Reagan's videos I believe and then some other people's videos about Throne of Glass and they just raved and ranted about it and I was like ah I gotta read this book and I'm so glad that I did because now it is one of my favorites. The last book that booktube made me read is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. You may be wondering about this one. Just let me tell you a story if you didn't already know. I kind of got in a slump reading The Mortal Instruments after the third book. I was like, we don't need any more books, whatever. I read City of Fallen Angels, not impressed, not impressed at all. And I did not even read City of Lost Souls. I just didn't even do it. And I was like, whatever. Then Jesse was like, hey, have you seen Christine's video about theories for City of Heavenly Fire? And I was like, no, I have not seen it. I guess I'll just go check it out. Then I went and watched it. And then I was like, ah. I need to read this book. And then I reread the whole Mortal Instruments series in a week and then read this book. So this is like my all time booktube made me read because I watched a booktube video and it made me reread the entire series and then this book. The prize challenge for today is to recreate a book cover. I actually already own Everybody Sees the Ants but I'm just going to do this for funsies because that's what I do. I decided I'm going to recreate Clary's side on this City of Heavenly Fire cover because my hair's red and I can do it, whatever. I don't have a dagger on hand, so I'm gonna use these sunglasses as her little dagger there. So I'm gonna flip my hair. I've got my dagger sunglasses down here. You probably won't be able to see them. They're there. Flip. So that's my day one update. It wasn't super exciting, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know down below what you were reading and what you read today, and we can get through this together. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye. We're all in this together, and we know that we are. Or I'll stop. And we see that. I just did that. Alright, bye guys.